Hello, my beautiful friends. It's Natalie Kelly here, and I am the Traumatic Brain Injury Coach, and I'm here today with Dr. Alric Aranander, who is a neuroscientist and a brain researcher um, who has traveled the world and, and has so much information to share with us today. So thanks for being here. A pleasure, Natalie. Always a pleasure. You're great. They Thank should you. They should be happy to have you as a coach. <laughs> they should be. But here I am. I'm doing what can whatever we do? I can to help these people <laughs> yeah. with brain injuries. Now, we have I some passion here. We got some definite passion. Definite here. passion. Definite so passion. Stay tuned. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. What can I help with? I would love to hear more about um, the prefrontal cortex and why this What's is important. That? What is that? I and know. what is this thing they call executive function that comes words. from that place? Big words. Big words. Can you, can you tell us more about that and why that's so important? Uh, I think even though they seem like big words and they're part of brain research, I think anybody with TBI can benefit from knowing more about their significance because this is basically the core of TBI. Regardless of the TBI event, regardless of what got hit and what we think are the symptoms and what the images show and the doctors tell you, the whole brain is involved and people can appreciate that. We might have a hit here and have an arm problem, but then this is not working right. In fact, we may not feel like we're the same person. Something's not right, mm -hmm. okay? So the point here is that the brain this is a quick lesson on your neuroanatomy of your brain. It's real simple, but it's really useful. The brain is like two pieces. There's the back of your brain. That's where you create your world. Back here is where you create your world. Space and time, objects and so forth. That's where it happens back here, okay? So you wanna keep this happy. And the front is you. It's more you. It's your executive function. That's what it means, executive functions. You're the president of the world, of your world. This is your presidency. This is your country. This is the puppeteer and this is the puppet. Mm. This is the thing that's dangling and you're the dangler, okay? Mm. This is what's controlling everything in your life, including your body, okay? So if you want your body and your mind and your emotions and your behavior to work well, you better have this part of your brain working well. And of course, a lot of hits are in the front, like soccer balls and football and mm. baseballs and all kinds of things. This is, or even cupboard doors. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many <laughs> cupboard doors lay people out. Um, I've actually heard that one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's careful your cupboards. Okay. You have the ideas that you have to take care of this front. Take care of the whole brain, but the front is in charge of the whole brain. All right. If the front is not working well, the back of the brain could work just fine, but it's like it's hard to have find somebody home or that person who is home is not working well. They're not feeling good. There's a lack of sense of self. There's a lack of motivation because of the front, this executive system, lack of motivation lack of intelligence, being able to put things together, lack of decision-making, making good decisions, clear decisions, uh, goal-setting, here are my goals, I gotta get here and do this. Some people it's better or worse, okay, but goal-setting is up here, so we have self, our self, sense of self and sense up here, we have our motivations here, we have our goal-setting, we have our creativity, we have our habits, what else could be there? Um, Organizing and planning. Organizing and planning. These are big ticket items. These are important things. These are actually yeah. at the core of TBI. Yeah. If there's a problem, we want to reset the sequence of how we do things, whether it's our thinking sequence or the motor sequence or our sensory sequence. We have to reset the system. And that means the prefrontal cortex. And this is the front of the brain, but the pre means the front of the front. So it's the prefrontal cortex. It's right here. Mm -hmm. This is what makes us human. This is what makes you Sam or Susie or Fred or Alice, right? This is the most important real estate in your life. This is the most important for your life. So this is why so often people with TBIs will say, I don't feel human anymore. Right. I don't. I definitely don't feel like what I used to feel. I know something's mm -hmm. different and something's wrong. And I don't feel a part of the human society and culture. Right. And, and I'm having so many problems. It's hard to find the energy. It's hard to find the motivation. It's hard to find clarity or attention. Or a sense of self. Yeah. And, uh, and actually, you know, they say something and it goes in, but it gets lost. I can't keep track of it. This is how we organize our memory. This is how we organize our flow of our memories, called working memory. So this part of the brain is 
extremely important. It is the center of who we are, okay? Really the center of, the, of being a human being and being functional in society and having a good life, a very happy life and a very long-lived life of functionality. This is what we want to rehab with TBI. We want good functionality. And so if we're going to look at the brain, we want to see how we could rehab the prefrontal cortex. Even if it wasn't the main source of the hit or the event, and it usually is, it is going to be involved because any hit to the brain affects ultimately the whole brain. You change one part of the brain, the whole rest of the brain has to adjust because this is one global system. It's not like you can take this out and the brain goes, oh, that's no problem, we just not deal with that. You take something offline and the whole brain has to reorganize itself. And then, of course, with rehab, we try to have the best reorganization. So if we could take care of the prefrontal cortex in particular, we would really be ahead on this thing. We would really be at the central switchboard of most of the problems we have. How we can attend to our rehab. How can we have the energy for rehab? How can we have the motivation to our rehab? How can we have the clarity and the remembering of our rehab? How do we really rewire the system? And so there are tools and technologies for the prefrontal cortex. There are memory games you can do, okay? So there are specific memory games. There are ways to actually certain forms of meditation and neurobiological feedback can help reconstitute some of the circuits here and the rewiring. And of course, there is one form of meditation, transcendental meditation, which after 50 years now in rehab and in addiction centers and in prisons with violent offenders and in medical institutions and in dementia, in all these instances, it's been shown that this simple form of transcendental meditation really releases the potential of the prefrontal cortex and therefore of the whole brain. Mm -hmm. This is a very simple, effortless technology, but probably the most powerful one we know about in medical mm -hmm. science. The research shows it, the experience with TBI people shows it, the ability to rehab addiction, to rehab violent people, rehab in a sense ADHD, rehab people with dementia and stuff like that. This is a very simple but valuable tool and it deals with allowing the executive functions, which we've all listed, including the sense of self, to be fully developed. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very powerful, so simple crucial. tool. Yeah, it's really good. And yeah. people should therefore appreciate that this idea of executive function is an important idea. And there are tools and technologies that are available on the surface level and deep within to help really make use of those executive functions yeah. for maximum direction and progress in rehab. Thank you so much for explaining to us today about the prefrontal cortex and the executive function. That's so helpful. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Natalie. And thank you all for joining us here today. Um, please list your comments or questions in the fields below and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Hello my beautiful friends. This is Natalie Kelly, the TBI coach. And I am here with Dr. Aaron, oh crap, <laughs> Aaron Ander, let me do Aaron, that again. Aaron, oh crap, <laughs> that's kind of Irish, isn't it? Yeah. Son of crap. I'm glad you're not yeah, yeah. taking this personally, it's just yeah, like the short term memory thing. Okay, I'm going to do that again.